Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Good news for you all, now JIT is finally officially supported on iOS 26. That means no more laggy emulators, no more half-speed apps, and no more complicated workarounds. With JIT enabled, your iPhone or iPad can run emulators, developer tools, and performance-heavy apps at full speed, just like on desktop. And the best part? You don't need a jailbreak. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to enable JIT on iOS 26 using Stick Debug, one of the simplest and most reliable ways available right now. First, go to App Store, then search and download Stick Debug. Stick Debug officially supports iOS 26 with its newest update. The developers have introduced a new interface that's cleaner, faster, and easier to navigate. On top of that, there are new functions, including improved JIT handling, better app detection, and overall stability improvements on iOS 26. Open Stick Debug from your home screen. When you first open Stick Debug, you'll be asked to allow VPN configuration. This is required because Stick Debug uses a secure VPN tunnel to attach the debugger and enable JIT. Just tap Allow to continue. After that, Stick Debug will ask for a pairing file to enable JIT. You can use your own pairing file created with tools like Jitterbug Pair or iDevice Pair. To keep things simple, I'll show you how to connect Stick Debug with iDevice Pair without needing to manually load a pairing file. On your computer, whether it's Windows or Mac, download and install iDevice Pair. In my case, I'm using Windows Computer to run iDevice Pair. When you try to run it, Windows may show a security warning from Windows Protection. If you see this, click More Info, then choose Run Anyway to open iDevice Pair. Now, make sure your iPhone or iPad is connected to your PC with a USB cable. Inside iDevice Pair, simply click the drop-down menu and select your device name. Then, click Generate button to pair your device with iDevice Pair, and let it automatically generate the pairing connection. Scroll down and you'll see the Stick Debug section. Click the Install button, and a pairing file will be automatically created that connects directly to Stick Debug. Once the pairing is successful, go back to Stick Debug on your device. You'll see a green icon at the top that means your device is now ready to use Stick Debug and ready to enable JIT without needing the computer anymore. Next, tap the Connect by App button. From here, select the app you want to enable JIT for. In my case, I'm going to enable JIT on Pojav Launcher. Before enabling, let's quickly check inside the app. As you can see, the JIT status is still showing as checking that means JIT is not yet activated. Now, select Pojav Launcher from the Stick Debug app list. The app will automatically open, and as you can see, the JIT has been successfully enabled. For your information, the Stick Debug app list will only show apps that you sideload using tools like AltStore, SideStore, or Sideloadly. If you've installed apps using eSign, Scarlet, or KSign, those apps will not appear in the Stick Debug list. So before enabling J, IT make sure the app you want to use is sideloaded with Alt Store, Side Store, or Sideloadly. That way, it will be detected and appear in Stick Debug's app list. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.